Hi there, welcome to my channel. Today in this video I will show you a simple trick on how I fixed a slow computer problem. I hope it can save you money from buying a new computer or having it repaired. There are many reasons your computer or laptop starts to slow down, slow response, or even not respond at all. Sometimes when our computer starts to run slow or not respond fast enough, it makes us feel vulnerable. Most of us are not computer savvy guys. So when it happens, all kinds of worries come to mind. It happened to my 2 year old HP laptop, with 16 GB RAM, Intel Core i5, and Windows 11. I learned it the hard way but, fortunately, I could fix it in the end. I was so scared because I thought, the computer had a very serious problem with a virus, or hardware issue. It had been working fine the days before, although it had shown mild signs of slowing at times. I was in the middle of important work and I worried that I would never finish the work. On top of that, I worried that I would have to buy a new laptop which cost me money. And if I'd bring it to the computer shop, it'd take a long time to fix, and it could cost money to repair. I searched the internet and they suggested cleaning the junk files, diffracting the hard drive, and restoring the system. I did it all but no matter what, it didn't help. I had no choice but to buy a new laptop. But right before I decided to buy a new one online, I gave it one last try. I pressed the power button and the shift key at the same time to shut it down. And when I rebooted the laptop again, it started to run through a series of updates. And finally, it came back to life, functioned like normal as usual, and never had a problem since. I searched the internet and learned that, when you press the power button and the shift key at the same time, you not only shut down the computer, but you also refresh and restart Windows 11. Sometimes, when you update Windows 10 to Windows 11, for some reason, it doesn't quite complete the process automatically. So, the problem was not the memory or the storage or the virus or the software issue. I hope my experience can help you solve small problems like this. That's it for this video. I will see you at the next experience. If you liked this video and found it useful, please kindly give me a thumbs up and prescribe to my channel. It will help in making more DIY videos like this one. Thank you, and have a nice day.